Hey everybody, this is Yuri with WP Soar, and I want to show you today how to disable a plugin or theme using FTP. Now, if you have an issue with a plugin or theme, or you may have just clicked on a setting and all of a sudden you're getting the blank white screen of death with WordPress, or you're having errors and your site's getting a server 500 error uh, because you're modifying a file, there's a very simple way to fix that. Um, now, what you need to do first is find out what is a problematic plugin or theme and find where it is. And in this case, we're just gonna we're gonna assume that Akismet was causing an issue. Now, how do we disable Akismet from the back end? All you have to do is find the plugin here and rename the plugin to something uh, that is other than the actual plugin name. So we're going to just put an X after it, uh, rename it, and you're going to go into the back and you'll see that the plugin is disabled. And it will actually no longer be part of the WordPress install, therefore it won't cause any issues. Now, if you have an issue with a white screen of death, most likely it's a plugin issue. And if you are modifying a setting within the plugin, most likely that setting is still in the database. So deleting the plugin or theme and reinstalling it will not resolve your issue. You're just going to have to uh, actually modify the database itself using phpMyAdmin. Now, if you're editing the actual files or the PHP files, then you can you can go ahead and reinstall the plugin or theme and just put a fresh install in there and it will resolve your issue. Please subscribe to our channels and thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any other questions.